Welcome, mamas, to another edition of Take a Breath Tuesday. I'm so happy that you're here. I want to talk a little bit today about uh, this transitional time of year. We're in a seasonal change, and um, it's really a time when we can use the energy that's around us of change to think about what we want to release and what we want to move forward into. I like I was listening to the Ayurvedic uh, teacher Kate Stillman this morning, and she was talking about how the seasons, uh, when we're in the the seasonal shift in spring and in fall, how that's just it creates an, a space of openness, and we can make some choices and really pull in what we're hoping for. So I know in the United States here we're moving towards the holiday season. Uh, in winter time where we spend a lot more time inside um, for most of us close in closer contact with our family um, and in the holidays for a lot of us that means closer contact with people that we care about and uh, that brings up a whole other set of challenges for us so what I want to invite you today to do is um, experiment with a vision walk I want you to find some space outside. It's important that you're outside. A space where you feel comfortable and where you can really spend some time moving out, taking in what's around you, and using that as information as you move in to what you really want. So once you've found your space, I want you to really start your walk by grounding your feet and your energy down into the earth and know that that's supporting you and it's giving you everything that you need. I want you to take some deep breaths and really feel into your body, feel into what she needs right now. Is she craving movement that is slow and steady? Is she craving stillness? Is she craving action? Movement that feels like something is being released or that you're moving forward towards something. So once you've kind of set, hmm, I'm just feeling into that in my own body. Once you've kind of set what it is your body is longing for, I invite you to just move forward. Take in the sounds around you. Feel, you've got a little wind kicking up here. Feel that wind on your skin. Notice how you relate to that. When something comes up that you're not quite sure of how to relate to, is your tendency to shut down? And if it is, See if you can just gently open to it and see how it passes. Is it a sensation that stays with you for a long time? Or is it a sensation that, like right now, the wind just died down as quickly as it started up? Start to notice how you relate. Notice how your body is moving, just naturally how you want to move in and out. Oh, these now the wind is kicking up again how you want to move in and out of that and as you start to notice these things and as you feel more in rhythm with yourself what I invite you to do is to imagine releasing behind you like little breadcrumbs releasing behind you the things that you don't need to carry with you into your upcoming months what do you need to let go of? Is it judgment? Is it feeling like you're not enough? Is it feeling like you need to be busy all of the time? I know in the United States, when we move towards the holidays, that can be a time when things feel really busy. So if your tendency is to be really busy, can you let go of some of that? And as you release, I want you to start to focus on what's in front of you. Picture or feel 
what is it what is it that you long to move towards what's your yes for these upcoming months is it connection is it ease is it fun and excitement and see yourself moving towards those yeses gathering them in to your heart to your solar plexus and feel how that changes your energy does that change the quality of how your body wants to move being clear on your yes does that change how you feel about the wind kicking up or the constant shifts that are going on around you spend as much time as you need on this walk really take it into your being and your body so that your body can continue to inform you as things get unpredictable in your life anchor that yes into your heart into your body into your knowing and then take this into your life as a mama when things get unpredictable around you take a moment to find your feet on the ground to breathe it helps bring your hands to your heart and remember your yes it takes just a couple of seconds and your kids you owe that to your kids you owe that to your family to take those seconds to keep coming back to your yes because when you can say yes to yourself and to what's important to you that's going to help them define what's important to them and bring that joy and that ease and that connection into all of your experiences all right mamas let me know in the comments what your yeses are what this experience was like for you and if you want to dive deeper know that if you're in the central new jersey area every tuesday i do a mini retreat workshop uh, exploring these topics more in depth so i look forward to connecting with you and hearing from you uh, in the comments below all right be well